Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free multi-purpose contact form for the WordPress website. Using this plugin, you can create different types of contact forms such as subscription form, contact forms, surveys, multi-step forms, multi-pages forms, as well as you can use the conditional logic and the mathematical logic into the contact form. Let me show you an example of the contact form that I have created. This is one of the sample survey which was already available into the form. There are many different templates or the sample forms that you can use. Here you will see the list of sample forms that you can use. Now let me show you one of the multi-step form here. So this is one of the multi-step form that I have created. I can select the options from here. On the first step, we have two questions. Then I can go to next step. If I select this option, the form field will go away. So this is one of the condition that I have used in the form. So whenever someone select this option, the field will go away. If I select this option, there will be another field. If I select this option, this field will remain there. However, if I select this option, this field will be hidden. So I can click next and I can go to the next field and I can submit the form here. If I want to change the answer, I can go back to the previous step. And this is how it works. So this form is fully customizable. This plugin has free as well as the premium version. So I'm going to start with the free plugin and I do have the premium version of this plugin. So I'm going to install the premium version also and I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the premium version. So let's see how we can use the free multi-purpose contact form in the WordPress website. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are going to install the free multi-purpose contact form in the WordPress website. So let's go to plugins and click on add new. And here search for AR forms. So the name of the plugin is AR forms. This is the free version of the plugin that we are going to install now. I do have the premium version. So I'm going to install the premium version also. So this is the form contact form survey and pop up form plugin for WordPress. Click on install now. Click on activate. So in the left hand panel, you will see AR forms light. Let's go to general settings. So these are the messages on the form. These are the default messages on the form. If someone keep the field blank, then this message will be shown. After successful submission, this message will be shown. So if you want to customize these messages, you can customize them from here. These are your default email settings, the name of the website, the default admin email. So if you want to change your default admin email, you can change it from here. Then we have the basic settings disable the built-in anti-spam feature so this form has the built-in anti-spam feature if you want to disable it you can disable it you can also use google recaptcha if you want to add recaptcha on the form this is the form submission method so i'm not going to make any changes here these are the basic settings here if you go to email marketing tools you can integrate these email marketing tools with the contact form so this is the feature of the premium plugin. If you want to integrate a waiver, you can simply enter the API key and authorize it and it will get integrated with this contact form. So you can send the contact form information to your a waiver CRM. Basically, these are all email marketing tools that you can integrate. You will see MailChimp, GetResponse, Constant Contact, HubSpot. Right now, let's go to manage forms. So right now there are no forms. So we are going to create the first form. Click on add new form. So here you can enter the title of the form. So I'm going to name it as simple form one. If you want to add description, you can add the description also. And click continue. So this is the title and the description. If you do not want to show the title and the description here on the form itself, then you can go to this setting and disable it from here. So the title and the description will not be shown on the form. If you want to show it, you can enable it. In the left hand panel, you will see the fields that you can add to your contact form. Let's see, I want to add single line text and I want to add two columns. So I'm going to, to select two columns and you will see two columns here. In the second column, I'm going to add another field. 
for the first column i'm going to name it as first name for the second column i'm going to name it as last name if you want to make it mandatory you can select this option and this field will be mandatory similarly this field will also be mandatory if you go to settings you can change the settings if you want to add placeholder you can add the placeholder here if you want to add icon you can also add icon so this icon will be shown on the field if you want to add description for the field you can add the description from here click ok you will see the icon the placeholder and the label similarly let's do let's add the icon for this one also i'm going to use the same icon this is how the last number will look then i want to add email address you can simply drag and drop the email address field here mark it as required go to settings if you want to add confirm email you can enable this option and you will see the confirm email option is there so i'm going to disable it you can add icon and here you will see the field description placeholder you can add placeholder also then i want to add phone number mark it as mandatory add placeholder and here you will see the default number format you can change the default number format from here if you want to use this format you can select that format now if you want to use country flag you can also use country flag you can select the number of countries that you want to show i'm going to uncheck all and i'm going to select india united state click ok and you will see the country flag here all right so you can see that there are many different fields that you can use in the contact form these are the pro fields in order to use these fields you will need premium plugin if i go to other fields you will see these fields are available you can also use html field and these fields are for the premium version in the right hand side you will see basic styling options you can choose the color combination so these are the pretty basic settings you can go through the settings you can change the color settings of the contact form you will see the font settings change the font width height position top left bottom everything will be in the right hand column these are the title settings input field option so this is the input field alignment is there at the end you will see submit button option this is the submit button you can center align it or right align or left align this is the text you can change that also you will see it here if you want to change it you can change the text all right now at the top you will see email notification if you want to send notification to the user you can enable this option and from the drop down you can select the email field we have added the email field so you can select the email field and it will send the email to the user once the submission is successful here you can add the subject so this will be the subject of the auto response you can also select field if you want to customize it if you want to personalize it you can add the field so it will show the first name of the user in the subject line at the bottom you will see the content for the email you can add the content here right now it shows the default content thank you for subscribing subscription with us so you can change this content once done you can click ok next is conditional rule this is for the premium version then submit action after submitting the form it will display this message you can change this message and you can add your own message if you want them to redirect to another url you can redirect them to another url so after submitting the form it will go to that url you need to enter the url here then you can display the content from another page so on your website you can select the page where you want them to redirect or the content that you want to show on the page after submission here you will see a hide after submission so it is going to hide the form after submission all the other options are only for the premium plugin you can also use webhooks in the premium plugin click ok next is opt-in so this is for the premium version if you want to integrate the crm you can use the opt-in close it another option is general options 
again for the premium version hidden input rules in export form so you can also export the form and you can use it on other website using the same plugin here you will see the short code first we need to save it so save the form and the short code will be generated you can use this short code to show the form on any page if you are using php website you can use the php code also this is the preview if you click on it it will show the preview of the contact form all right let's close it let's go to pages go to one of the pages here i'm going to open one demo page and i'm going to add this short code on the demo page here on this dummy website i'm using elementor so i'm going to use the elementor short code to show the form if you are using default gutenberg you can use the default gutenberg short code block so i'm going to select short code enter it update it you will see the form here and uh, let's view the page so this is how the contact form will look so i can enter the first name last name email phone number and then i can click on submit here you will see the drop down for the country selection so let's go back to forms let's go to manage forms and you will see your form here if someone fills up the form it will show the number of entries here if you click on it it will show the entry details it will also send the email whenever someone fills up the form you will see the information about the customer who has filled up the form all right so this is how the basic free plugin works now i'm going to install the premium version of this plugin so let's go to plugins and click on add new click on upload plugin i'm going to upload the plugin click on activate plugin all right so the premium plugin is activated let's go to ar forms and go to licensing i'm going to enter the license details so that it will get activated click on activate license the license is activated now let's go to manage forms again and let's create a new form click on add new form i'm going to name it as sample form 2 and here now you will see another option is there templates you can select the templates from here so let's say i want a survey form so i'm going to select survey form and it will use the template for the survey form so this is how it will look this is the title and this is the survey form you can change the content of the field you can change the title if you want to change these options you can simply click on this and from here you can change the options now if you want to make it as multi-step form you can make it as multi-step form go to other fields here and you will see page break option you can simply drag it and drop it here so after two questions it's going to break up the form and it will go to the next step or the next page let's drag it and drop it again after two questions so we have two breakups here let's save it and see how does this look let's use the short code copy the short code so i'm going to replace this form so click on it and replace this short code with the new one click update and you will see the new form is already there it is a multi-step form and you will see the new form after selecting two questions i can go to next on the next page i have two questions i can select the answers click next and it will be on the last page from here i can go to previous page and i can change the answer and once i am done with all the fields i can click on submit so it will submit the form so this is a survey form that you can create using the multi-step form now let's go back here at the top you will see conditional rule so if you want to use conditions you can also use conditions let's see i want a condition on the second step if someone selects this option i am aware of it this is the answer if someone select this answer this field will go away i want to hide this field if someone select this option all right so what i'm going to select i'm going to copy this answer first all right now let's go to conditional rule this is the third question which best describes from here i'm going to select that field the third one which word best describes the third one is equals to the answer that i have copied 
then it is going to hide the fourth field that will be one two three this one fourth field click ok this is the third field and this is the fourth field so if someone selects this option it is going to hide this one if someone selects other option it is not going to hide click save let's refresh it so we are on the first step we have two questions next question will be the third question and you can see that it is already selected third one so that's why it's not showing the field if i select other option it will show the field this is the field the fourth one if i select any other option it is going to show the field however if i select this one it is going to hide that field so this is how you can use the conditional rule into the ar forms if you want to use mathematical logic you can also use the mathematical logic into the ar forms and all these fields are available you can see you can have color picker credit card smiley you can also use smileys in the form switch button is there spinner matrix rich text so this is one of the best multi-purpose contact form that you can use on your wordpress website let me show you the website of this plugin this is the website ar forms and the pricing of this plugin is only 39 dollars so if you want to create different types of contact forms or the survey forms or multi-step forms you can definitely try using this plugin the pricing is also better than any other premium plugins you can buy this plugin from code canon website i'll give you the link in the description box if you want to buy this plugin you can use my link in the description box so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips